In this video, we will look at a simple example of using a method writer and method reader to write to and read from a queue. Method writers and method readers allow us to make method calls from one Java process to another. For example, you could use method writers and readers to send and receive events using a Chronicle queue. All the events in this example are stored to the Chronicle queue, allowing, if required, the queue to be replayed to resend the same events in the same order. This Maven project has been created in advance, but it is important to note this method reader writer example class and the pomxml file. In the pom file, as we will be using Chronicle Q to write to and read events, this Chronicle Q dependency is required. Now that we are in our example class, let's get started. Firstly, we declare an interface called printer that is going to print a message. It is important to note that our code will be using this interface to write to and read from the queue and won't need to know the low-level API of Chronicle Q. Next, inside main, we want to set up our queue from Chronicle Q that we will be writing to and then reading from, hence the need for the imports of single Chronicle Q and single Chronicle Q builder. The next two things we will need are an appender and a tailor. These are both from Chronicle Q. Firstly, the appender is used to write to the queue, so this is our method writer. In this case, we want our method writer to write the string hello world to the queue. We then set up the tailor. This is what is used to invoke an event using the data in the queue. Again, we can see this is an imported class from Chronicle Q. We can then set up our method reader. In this case, we have called it reader and use the tailor to help us read what we wrote to the queue in the previous step. As you can see, we declare an instance of printer and use this to print out our message that was written to the queue. In order for the method reader to process just a single message from the queue, on line 37 you can see we have called read1. Each time read1 is called, the method reader processes the next message by invoking, in this case, the print method. When running this example, we can see that it prints out hello world. New messages are always added to the end of the queue, so if we run this example a second time, there will be twice as many messages in the queue. To give us a blank slate, I'm going to delete these Chronicle queue files to remove the files that have already been written to the queue. Once those files are removed, if we want to write a second message to the queue, we can add this in here on line 25. As mentioned before, read1 means that we process just one event from the queue. So on line 39, we need to add another read1 to read our second message. Finally, to make our code more concise, IntelliJ prompts us to replace this section with a method reference. For more information about Chronicle Q or our other products, contact us at info at chronicle.software.